What's going on guys? Welcome back to On The Farm. Sorry I haven't put any videos out lately. Um, been doing a lot of paperwork and this and that. So, first off, I started plowing my, uh, my dryland corners here. And uh, I'll put in a little video of it right here. But yeah, anyway, so I plowed for a while. First I started with this tractor. This is our 8230 with a Baker plow, switch plow, five bottom. And then uh, I switched over to our tattoo plow. It's a seven bottom with my cousin John's tractor, 8310R. And uh, that one sat last Saturday, I hooked a pipe. There's a lot of oil field pipe uh, underneath the ground where I farm here. Uh, it's infested with, uh, with oil field. And so now I'm nervous every little bump, like I just hit a little bump there and I'm nervous the whole time I'm gonna hit something. And uh, I hooked the pipe with that big tattoo plow and it just broke the, the, the bottom point off of it. So, and all the stores are closed so I couldn't get a new one Saturday. So then um, on Monday morning I go pick it up and uh, I pick up enough points to replace all of them. So I replace all the bolts and points on the plow and on my second pass I hook something crazy big and a whole foot piece broke off. I bent a huge metal. I'll probably try to insert, insert, insert some pictures yet at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, just crazy amount of force that went in there. I, not, I'm not, still not sure what I hooked. Um, I'm gonna dig it up with a shovel. Uh, let me hurry up and turn around here. So then I decided um, I don't want to break our big nice plow. Um, so if I do all of a sudden hit something, I'm gonna hit it with this this older plow here. That's pretty good looking dirt right there. So if I do hook some, it'll be with this older plow. Um, it doesn't it's not worth as much as our new plow um, I don't want to hook it and break that big plow so and also it was going a little deeper than this one is you can tell our hood is cracked but you can tell I'm driving in that rut so this is about how crooked my tractor is I mean it doesn't look like much but if you're sitting in here all day your brain kind of gets lopsided but this is what I'm gonna be doing uh, for I'll probably finish in a few days. It's a it's kind of it, it take it's a hassle. It's kind of it takes a while to do the corners because you got to turn around so often. Um, and I'm so nervous that I'm going to hook some uh, piping or something. I've never plowed this piece before, so it's kind of a headache to hook something because that set me back a little over a thousand dollars hooking that that other plow. But I'll probably show you yet what what all broke on it. So. That's what it is, and I didn't upload a uh, BS Wednesday video yesterday. I forgot about it. I'm going to start a new series called BS Wednesdays, but uh, I'll probably just throw this one in as a normal vlog. And, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting over here plowing. I don't know how deep I'm going. Uh, probably, like, I would say, like, 14 inches, probably. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I haven't measured, but... It's going a decent amount deep. I mean, it looks really nice whenever it's plowing there. So you can tell, you can see how much dirt it's pushing over. So that'll make this dirt a lot healthier. Uh, I think this hasn't been plowed in almost 10 years or so. So it needed it pretty bad already. But that'll make the soil a whole lot richer. You can see how white it was already. It's just sand just moved to the top and uh, clay moves to the bottom so now I'm trying to get that to the top again mix it around a little more and makes the dirt a whole lot richer if you plow so I'm staying far away from uh, all the roads and staying far away from every little thing that I can possibly tell there's an injection well right there somewhere and 
and uh, I definitely want to stay far away from that because the concrete or whatever, I, whenever I hit, hooked it on Monday, it felt like, or I mean, I, some concrete dug up, so I'm not sure um, what I hooked, but I'm going to dig it up with a shovel yet and see, but I mean, it was at least 30 yards from the nearest location, so that kind of, you know, freaks me out for, with plowing around the areas, but I'll just stay a good conservative amount away from everything and hopefully I don't hook anything else so I can get this done without any more cost because um, if you're doing this to make the land healthier you can't really afford to break a plow and fix it for a thousand dollars you know so now this is what I'm talking about like this little piece right here I had to plow that little piece separately and uh, that's what takes so long if you're doing the corners but right now I'm just going straight across the whole quarter section here and uh, shouldn't hopefully it won't take me too long but yeah so just kind of give you an update of what I'm doing I'm still working over here I'm just haven't really filmed because I've been uh, doing some paperwork and stuff but video should come back to a regular pretty soon so and thank you still for all you subscribers and if you haven't subscribed just hit the button subscribe well I'm back in this uh, big tattoo plow AARP plow seven bottom and I'm back in the 8310 here and uh, I got it fixed it was that uh, shank the second last shank, uh, foot piece that I broke off shank whatever you want to call it I'm not sure but uh, I should finish pretty soon I got uh, a little piece here that I got to finish and then uh, a little bit right there started I don't know probably an hour ago maybe a little longer but this plow gets it done way faster it covers twice the amount that our baker plow does so I figured I'd just hook this plow back up and uh, just be a little bit more careful. I'm staying far away from everything, so I'm going to finish plowing here. And then uh, when I bring the tractor back to the barn, I'll show you what happened to that foot piece that broke or bent or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably go crane hunting today yet I hope anyway if I have time I want to I have to in order to go I have to be able to go around four o'clock in the evening so I got a new haircut don't know if y'all noticed that already but it's pretty comfortable but bringing up some good dirt and uh, after I'm done with this all my corners all my dry land over here is done being plowed so it'll help me out a lot I forgot to um, show y'all the foot piece of the plow that I broke again. So I guess you'll probably have to see it on a later video because I'm heading home. Uh, I'm going to take it easy. Maybe I'll work on my old Ford today yet. And if I do, I'll make a video about that. So thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.